So today we're gonna have some fun because we are going to point out the top 10 types of medical students that you're bound to find in medical school. Let's get into it. All right guys, what is going on? Lux here for the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today I am super excited to bring you a video where I break down the top 10 types of medical students that you're bound to experience and interact with while uh, as a medical student. So hopefully you guys agree with my top 10. If there is a style or a personality that I missed, make sure you share in the comment section down below. And also let me know in the comment section down below who is the best person on this list to interact with and who's like the worst, like the absolute worst. But before we get to the top 10 list, make sure you smash that like button, help this video as well as this channel to better on the YouTube algorithm. Um, and consider subscribing if you haven't already because we're putting out videos twice a week for people just like you. But let's get into it. So let's get to number one, and that is the type A gunner. These are the students who just pride themselves on getting a 4.0, and if they have a 4.0, they are going to show it off like a YouTuber with their 100,000 subscriber plaque, an Instagrammer who has abs, good looking food, or a Lambo. Um, it's just everywhere, it's in your face. And so tips on how to deal with a student is just to stay away like stay away because the only kind of aid that this person wants is first aid and the only step that they see on a staircase is step one. Hopefully you guys like that one. So now getting into our next personality type, the complainer. So we all have a bit of this in us, but there is a particular type of student who has a little bit like too much. Everything sucks in their life. Class was canceled, class was rescheduled, the test was too hard, the test was too easy, um, that professor sucked, that professor was so good that I think they sucked. I can, it feels like the world is gonna end um, in this person. And after being around them so much, the only thing that you find yourself complaining about is them. So that's when you know that you are dealing with a complainer. So next up is Mr. or Mrs. Popular. These are the people that are always getting a hey or a what's up, head nod um, down the hallway. And you secretly hope that when you pass by them in the library, that they also just like briefly acknowledge you and maybe talk to you. It's like when a celebrity touches your hand and you just don't want to wash it. You just kind of like feel good the rest of the day. You're like, yeah. He talked to me today. And they're also obnoxiously good looking and likable. Um, so it's like this mixture of like, damn dude, you suck, but let's hang out. All right, next up is the social butterfly. These are the people who are always organizing your events for your class. It's like happy hours at one, let's do bowling. Let's try this new restaurant. And the reason you put your phone on mute is these types of individuals. But honestly, you also turn it on because you know they're always active and when you need some friends, these are the people that you turn to. Personality number five is the never around student. These are the individuals who sleep in, who study from home, who seem like they're always in the pajamas for whatever reason, never in their white coats, you've never seen them in their scrubs. They basically just show up for test day. And you wish you could describe and get to know them better, but after the test, they're like gone and disappeared until the next one. So personality number six, the how did you even get accepted to medical school student? Now I know that seems harsh, but let's be honest. Every person, every med school has one of these. And these are often the students who seem like they're never trying or just don't know what's going on. It seems like they always have a sketchy night the night before, and I'm not talking about sketchy medical there. But you hope they get their act together. You may wanna help them by like showing them this channel and telling them to hit the like button and subscribe button, um, but they just need some help. But honestly, it's like best of luck to them and may the odds be ever in your favor. So personality number seven is your professional juggler. These are the individuals who feel like they're just doing everything. These are your class presidents. They're always a top student. They have perfect skin. They're always in the gym. They're always smiling. They're always eating a salad. You're like, who, who are you? Like, I wanna be you, hashtag goals. And if you're thinking, huh, I'm not sure who that would be in my class. It's probably you. You know, you're so nauseatingly humble. Everyone around you needs Zofrin, but you're just good at everything. Everyone wants to be you. Congratulations. So the next one is honestly one of my favorites and that's your black cloud and your white cloud students. So your white clouds are students who seem, everything seems to be going well for them. Um, rotations are always easier. They get like nice vacations and they always luck out. Your black clouds are the people that always get the tough attendings, the tough evaluations, patience, and things always seem to hit the fan. And honestly, you can be a weather forecaster when you can just look up if the student is on a rotation with you and if they are. Good luck to you too. 
Now, personality number nine is your future fill in the blank. These are your individuals who just tell you from day one, I really wanna be an orthopedic surgeon. I really wanna be a plastic surgeon. I really wanna become a dermatologist. And they just like whispered in your ears, it's like odd, like when they walk by, they say, hi, dermatology. And they're always wearing their scrubs, they're always reminding you of the specialty where they wanna go into. And it's good when they actually pick the field and it's match day, you're like, you stuck to it, good for you. But when it, they don't, it's like super awkward. So personality number 10 is your all around sane friend. This is the person who does well ever so often, also struggles, seems to complain, but also can hear your complaints. And occasionally he or she may just end up making a video about the nine other types of personalities in med school. Hopefully you guys think I'm one of the same ones. All right guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you feel like I missed a med school trait or personality, make sure you comment down below and maybe we can do a part two on anything I missed. And before you click off this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that like button to make sure this video does better on YouTube and reaches to more people. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hopefully I've been a little help to you on your journey. You guys got a little bit of entertainment from this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace friends.